Policy Identity Awareness By the end of this training, you'll be able to enable identity awareness and integrate IDA into the policy. Checkpoint Identity Awareness Software Blade provides granular visibility of users, groups, and machines, providing unmatched application and access control through the creation of accurate identity-based policies. In other words, our current policy uses IP addresses to identify the source on a rule base. For example, if I have Bob, I identify Bob's laptop using this IP address. But what if what if Bob changes a network? What if Bob will change his laptop? What if Bob has a second computer? What if, what if, what if? I'm afraid the IP address is just too static. A solution would be to use Bob as a username. And it's really easy. You just need some sort of an LDAP server. In our case, we have an Active Directory. Running. And we'll simply connect Active Directory with our Smart Console, allowing us to get information about users and groups and integrate it into our policy. This demo is going to be really simple. You will need to have Smart Console access your organizational needs, and information about your domain controller, its IP address, the domain name, the credentials, of course, and to make sure that you do have connectivity to it. Besides my management network, I'll also need the AD server, and you'll need to verify that it's running and ready. So I'm going to the settings of my A gateway, enabling Identity Awareness. I'm keeping the AD query. I'm going to add the domain name, the username, the password, and the IP address of the domain controller. And hit Connect. Now, I'm going to try that again. In this case, I can already see that I have a typo here. And my point was that if you have connectivity and the policy doesn't drop that traffic, it should work. If it fails, check your credentials or check if you have a drop. In this case, I have a typo in the username. There we go. Here we go, press next. And I really like this explanation. So add access role to the security policy, install policy, watch user counters. And of course, view the logs. So I'm gonna press finish and okay. I'm going to go ahead and publish the changes. Now, the way I'm gonna incorporate that into my policy is by creating an access role object. Give it a name. In this case, I'll just do test one. And under users, I'm going to go and select specific users and groups and hit the plus icon. You might need to wait a minute or two until this window will fetch all of that information from the Active Directory. So I'll wait for a minute or two and I'll just fast forward it. Okay, so I've just waited for a while and now I have the users. I'm gonna go ahead and add a group that I have on my domain, which is the odd group. And I already know that this group contains the user one and user three because they're the odd users. Press OK. And now I can add this object as the source for my social media applications rule. And by doing that, I've just used identity awareness and I have integrated it into my policy.
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.